Algebra 1, Sitze Learning System, Lesson 25. We want to find the domain and range of these equations. We're going to find it by uh, understanding what the graphs look like and then we'll determine the domain and range. So for the first one, x squared, this is a basic function. And when we graph it, it'll be a parabola that goes through 0, 0. Now from this, I can see that the domain, I look to as far to the left that this graph will go along the x-axis. Since this never stops getting wider, it's negative infinity. And since this never stops going to the right, wider and wider, it's positive infinity. So I know for this equation right here, the domain or all the possible inputs is all real numbers. For the range, the lowest that this graph will go is the vertex down here, 0. And it also includes 0. The highest that these graphs will go will keep going higher and higher, will keep going up with positive infinity. So the answers for this graph, or the range, will go no lower than zero, and you will get any answer that is positive. Okay, the domain and range for this guy. So we'll graph him. And this will start at zero, zero, and will extend to the right here. Now, the square root of x, we can see that the domain of the square root of x um, doesn't go any further than 0 to the left. So we'll put 0 to the left and it'll stop there with a bracket. But it never stops going to the right along the x-axis, therefore that's positive infinity. So the numbers that you can use for input here include 0 and anything above 0. The range, the answers that you can get, we look as low as this graph will go, which is 0 and it actually stops at zero. And the highest this graph will go, this will never stop rising. It's going up slow, but it will never stop rising. So it's positive infinity. So the answers for this square root of x will be zero, including zero, to positive infinity. Now, the domain and range of negative x squared. This here is an a parameter. A parameters where negative will take your original function and flip it across the x-axis. So we're gonna take this function right here, and flip it across the x-axis and we'll get this graph here. And so the domain will look to our left and we see that this never this part right here never stops getting wider so it never stops going to the left. So that's negative infinity. And this part right here never stops going to the right so that's positive infinity. So the domain for this function is all real numbers. Now the range for this function the lowest that this graph will go will be negative infinity because it never stops going down. The highest is right here at zero. We'll never go any higher than zero, but it will include zero. So the range for this function is negative infinity to zero. Those are the only answers that you can get from this function. Now the negative square root of x. That's a negative a parameter. Well the square root of x looks like this, but a negative a parameter gives us a reflection about the x-axis. So, the graph will now look like this. Now, we ask ourselves about domain and range. Well, domain, we ask ourselves how far to the left will this graph go? It will go no further than zero. So, zero is as far as it will go to the left and includes zero. How far will this graph go to the right? Well, it will never stop traveling to the right, so that's positive infinity. Now, range, how low will the answers go? Well, this graph never stops going lower, so that's negative infinity. And how high will these answers go? Well, they'll never get higher than this point right here at zero. So we'll say the height is zero, but it will include zero. So the answers for this function right here, the negative square root of x, are only negative numbers including zero. Now let's look at this right here. This is the negative x squared function with a, a d parameter of negative three. That means that this is gonna go down three times. So let's take this function and lower it three times one two three and now we'll draw the graph and ask ourselves about the domain and range so this graph will never as far as going to the left will never stop getting wider so that's negative infinity on the right it'll never stop getting wider going to the right so that'll be positive infinity range the this graph will never stop going lower so that's negative infinity and the highest that this graph will go is right here, which is negative 3. So what this tells us is this graph, this equation right here, can take any number, all real numbers, as input. 
nothing hurts it. But the answers will only go as high as negative 3. They'll go low, but they won't go any higher than negative 3 as an answer for this equation. Your range. Now, number 6. Number 6 is the same function above here, but with a d parameter of negative 4. So that means this graph will go down 4 times. So let's go down 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we create the graph here. Same orientation. Okay, and now let's look at the domain and range. The domain here, the furthest that this will go to the left is no further than zero. So my domain here is zero, and it will stop at zero to the left. Now to the right, this graph never stops going to the right. So the right is positive infinity. Now how low will this graph go? This graph never stops getting lower. See, it's going down. So negative infinity is how low it will go. How high will this graph go? Well, it'll never go any higher than this starting point right here, which is negative 4. So the range of this function is negative 4. Oh, sorry, negative infinity to negative 4, which includes negative 4. OK. We want the domain uh, and range of this function. So I'm going to remove all the parameters. For, first, let's identify the parameters. 1, b is 1, c is negative 2, and d is 1. And so, removing all the parameters, we get the square root of x. And I'll use let's see, marker here to give us the um, graph as a classic V shape here. And then we'll put the C parameter on, which will give us y equals um, minus 2 in here. And the C parameter will uh, translate it two times to the right. So it goes here. So now this is your new vertex, right at 2. And then we'll put on our d parameter, which is y equals x minus 2, and then plus 1. Okay. And this will translate it up one time. So we're over two times, but translate it once. So here's your new vertex. So my domain for this function. It never stops going to, it never starts getting wider, so it never stops getting going to the left, so that's negative infinity. Also, to the right, it never stops getting wider there as well, so that's positive infinity. So this function can take any real number as input. Now range, the answers. The graph goes no lower than 1, including 1. And this graph will always go up, um, up. so that's positive infinity. So this equation right here will have no answers lower than 1. Okay, let's look at this, domain and range of this graph. So let's identify the parameters. A, parameter is 1. B, parameter is negative 1. The C parameter is 1. And the D parameter is negative 1. Okay, let's remove all the parameters. And we'll get y equals the square root of x. Now that graph looks like this. It starts from 0, 0, and just expands out. And, let's see, uh, we'll put on the C parameter next, which is a positive one. So we'll get y equals square root of x plus 1. Now what happens here is that it moves over one time to the left because the C parameter is a positive 1. So let's move over one time to the left and then redraw. Next, we have... Um, our b parameter, which is the negative on the x. So for the square root, negative on the x, and plus 1. Negative x's will um, help give us a reflection about the y-axis. So let's reflect this last equation about the y-axis. And everything on the left will go to the right, and everything on the right will go to the left. So this negative 1 will become a positive 1. And instead of extending to the right, this graph will now extend to the left. Okay, finally, our d parameter, which is negative 1. Let's put that on there. So y equals the square root of negative x plus 1 and then minus 1. Okay. So this will take our, our graph down one time. So we're already at 1 here. It will be down, going down to negative 1. So this is our new endpoint right here as it travels to the left. Now, the domain and range for this. Well, the furthest that this will go to the left, this according to this, is negative infinity. The furthest that this will go to the right is 1. 
So one is as far, and it includes one as well. So that's as far as it'll go. Range. What's the lowest that this graph will go? The lowest that this graph will go is negative one. So we'll put negative one, including negative one. And the highest that this graph will go is here, uh, will be positive infinity because this never stops rising. So positive infinity.